Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Sag and Sun. Ooh, ooh, the King of Swords, the Nine of Wands. What's, this king? What's behind this King of Swords? The Ace of Wands. Okay, then you got the Eight of Pentacles. Y'all know what well, this could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, but a lot of the times, this is an authority figure. They trying to. The King of Swords seeks out the truth in the upright. They seek to find the truth. So, this could be you. I don't know. Let's see, spirit. What's going on for Sagittarius? Please and thank you. That could also be someone who's just cold as ice, you know, when it comes to emotions. The King of Swords ain't showing. Them. They think they emotion. They don't feel them. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Spirit, what's going on for Sagittarius? Please and thank you. All right, so you have the King of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. We already saw the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles could be looked at as a boss. It can also be looked at as a spouse, 111 on the phone. But whoever this is is watching the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a watching and gathering of information. Like I said with the King of Swords, they seeking the truth. They trying to figure something out. Uh, let's grab. So this is at your job or whatever you do for work. Somebody watching. Y'all, my damn nose is itching. Baby. Here, what's going on for Sam? Yep, there you go. He at his desk or she, because this King of Pentacles could be a woman. But this person that they desk and they like, they, I don't know. They're trying to figure it out. It's just thoughts. They're all in their head about you. But uh, 16 breakdown to a 7. So maybe this person was confused at first. But I feel like they're starting to see things from a different perspective. Okay. What else, Spirit? All right. So you have journey. There's a 10 on this journey. So something in, something's ending or something's wrapping up. This person could be coming to you with this journey card right here. Esther or Easter? It sounds like it said Esther. Maybe your name is Esther, but maybe something's happening around Easter. I don't know. All right, Spirit. What's going on? Lovers, this uh, Gemini energy again. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. All right, 15 breaking down to a 6. 15, 16, 6, and 7. So I, I, I feel like something's moving in order. Third pathway. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. But all, all of these butterflies, okay. All of these butterflies on this card, if this person was coming to you with a message, by the time they get to you, they done changed it at least one, two, three, four, five times. So this could be a person who wants to send you a text message. You know how people type up a message at three to three on the phone. They type up the message. They don't send it. Then they go back to it and they read over it. Nah, let me take this out. Okay, let me add this. Yeah, that sound better. Nah, let me put a period right there. Ooh, let me put one of the emoji little hearts right there. Something that may change five times before it get to you. But when it get to you, you see, you see the um, the light shining down on it? This is the divine. When this thing, this person, or whatever it is, child, when it get to you, it's going to be just right. This person may even have some Virgo in their chart. They're going to make sure it's just right anyway if they got Virgo in their damn chart. And, I mean, that's not a bad thing. The only time I see... That quality of Virgos being bad is when it causes delays. You know, people want something to be so damn perfect. They could have sent the damn, this is a message. They could have sent the message when they first typed it up. But now, they done had to change it five times. So they done typed the damn thing up on the Monday. Here it is Saturday. It's going to be a whole nother Monday. And they just not sending it. So, it, you know what I'm saying? It could have been to you. This information or whatever the fuck this is, could have been to you, 444 on the phone. It could have already been there. Either way, when it get to you, it's going to be just right, at least according to this person. Damn it, message. Oh, spirit. So this could be a phone call, a text. Could come through the mail. 
Um, for some of you, this is a, an official letter because I see a seal right here. But there's a seven. So five, six, seven. Like I said, something's moving in like in divine order. Okay. Sevens is about good luck. Um, the divine is shining down on you. So I feel like this is a good message for you when it comes to you. Okay? You got adjudication. You got poverty. You got courtship. And a fish-ass person. Ooh, what's going on? And, and there's even... Okay, so for some of you... Because there's more letters in this drawer. So for some of you, whatever this is that you're ready to see, it's more of them. There's more of them. So say these are letters for, because for some of you, this could be a boss, right? So if this is an acceptance or offer, a job offer letter, there's more in there because they're going to be sending more out to other people. And you know what? Let me tell y'all what I had got the other day. I actually I got this information almost a month ago, and then I picked up on it again the other day when I was watching TV. And there's a group of, and so this is this is very specific what I'm about to tell you, and it's never been done before. This is the first time. This is the first time there's a group of 19 to 20 people. I feel like they're women. Um, about to be approached for a job that has normally been male dominant. I don't know what the hell the job is, but I kept getting that. So, again, if this is an, an offer letter for you, it's plenty more in that drawer. Maybe they're gonna be because I say this King of Pentacles could be a boss. So, seeing you once and somebody else wants it's a lot of letters in there, okay. Now, others of you, when you're talking about work, money got to come in there somewhere. Hello? King of Swords was looking into some things. While the King of Swords was looking, these letters was being put in the drawer, being put up. Whatever's in these envelopes, I'm going to say. So those of you, for some of you, this person could have figured out. Maybe you've been working 40 hours a week and the boss only been paying you for 38 not, you don't really notice that, but if it's been going over time, so you might get a lump sum. Two hours, how, how much ever money you make an hour, we'll just say you make $10 an hour, and so you've been docked $20 off your damn check, every check for however long, and then you get it. That's a nice little piece of chain. You know, you can pay off a bill or go do something, depending on how much it is, you know. Anything unexpected is good. Even able $50. $50 more than what you had. So, yeah. Some type of decisions being made. The lovers is here. It's all about making head over heart decisions, which is why we saw the King of Swords. So, somebody's not emotional about what the fuck they're doing. They're very logical about it. Okay, this is this is what makes sense. I'm also hearing this this the time that we're headed towards. Something about time and change. There's butterflies here, represents change, right? Think of the caterpillar who come out and this little butterfly, all right? So that's what I'm getting for some of you. This person is more ex accepting of something because that's the time they win. in. That's just what I got, take how it resonates, all right? So there's three different scenarios right there. Well, spirit. Sudden well, what I just say, them little two hours been adding up, adding up, adding up, and then boom, there you go. She got a five hundred dollar check in the mail, and it shit be happening. Cause that King of Swords, this damn King of Pentacles could be um, a bank manager. I got damn letter from a bank that I don't bank with anymore. I haven't banked with them in years, but I got a letter from them the other day. They did up some accounting and said that they owed me a certain amount of money. There was a check. Actually, it was a check that had them to cash or something like that. Okay? So, the King of Swords could be an accountant. You just never know. 
When I say they're gonna seek to find the truth, they wanna reconcile, make sure everything add up. Anything that's out of place, okay. This five dollars gonna fit where it go. Oh, it go to to the sad. Okay, let's let's go and seal that up and uh mail that check out. Sudden wealth, y'all. And seven seven seven. However, it's gonna you're getting something out of this situation. If it ain't but a love letter or a text message, something's been changed. Oh. Now, for some of y'all, something has been changed five times. Maybe something changed hands. Some could have got lost in the mail. There's a card that in there that says people are not following through on their promises to pay. So maybe someone's going to directly bring you something. Let's see what comes out. I said anything unexpected is good. Unexpected income. Spirit. Hey. Mm. <coughs> Let's see what comes now. Yeah, because, you know, if this person, if it was, even if it was a job off. All right. So the boss says to his secretary, or however it works, to the HR lady. Yeah, um, well, you know, I've been looking over these resumes and I really want this one. Go and type it up, get it ready, ship it out. Send them an acceptance letter or an offer. And, uh, shit, maybe the receptionist or whoever, maybe they just lazy, didn't do the job. Maybe they put the letter in the desk. I forgot, okay, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna go and clock out because I, you know, I got a date with my man and I. So I'm gonna go and clock out and tomorrow I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna mail it out first thing in the morning. Had a, a, an amazing night, get to work, forgot all about the damn letter. Some more papers getting thrown on top of it. Oh, you know, it's a month worth of shit on top of your original acceptance letter or alpha letter. This motherfucker looking at you like, what the fuck is going on? We can't start the project and we can't, why did this person not respond? What's really going on? Uh, Shirley, did you, did you send off that letter? Like a whole conversation. Okay. Did you send off that letter? Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure I did that a month ago. Okay, well, let's just try to figure it out because... I'm gonna have to, and there's also a part in here that says something could be coming back from the past, an old job or an unfinished project. We're gonna see what comes out, y'all. But um, Shirley said, Yeah, I sent the letter off about a month ago. Maybe they don't want the damn job, or maybe they didn't move. I don't know. It could also be this could be a place where it's so big, you know, they have like a mail room, a person who goes by these each cubicle. You got any mail today? And everybody give them their mail and then they take it down to the mail room and do whatever they're gonna do with it and then they ship it out. Something changed five times. Either the offer, the amount, changed hands, something. But remember I said, by the time it gets to you, it's gonna be perfect. Because I feel like somebody gonna directly give you something, offer you something, give you whatever the fuck they see it. And so how could that resonate? Maybe it's a, um, you have to sign for it this time. If it's coming through the mail, you got to sign for it and show ID. They're gonna make sure you got it, okay? For others of you, if it's a text message, they gonna call the phone first, make sure they got the right damn number, then they are gonna text. If it's an email, they're gonna email you and do one of those, uh, you know how they, they do the receipt, they can check to see if your ass read it. Oh yeah, it's all kind of shit out there, y'all. They gonna make sure you get it. For some of y'all, they can get in their car and they can come to you. Is this Sagittarius' house? Here you go, sir, ma'am. Sorry it took so long. Okay, Spirit, what else is going on? Whew. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Student in the reverse. 
others. Let's read it in the upright. Work with a mentor to learn your skills. Mm. It says you could be in school to pursue a higher education or you could work for the school district. Why would this be in the reverse? Unexpected. Something unexpected about to happen. Why would this be in the reverse? Why would student be in the reverse? Let's keep going, y'all. The page of swords is also a student energy. It's, it's learning, learning. Okay. Ooh. Hey. Damn. You already got sub well. Then you got a windfall. You are about you are about to receive a windfall of money or a pay rate. Cause like I said, for some of y'all, this King of Pentacles is a boss. Mm, mm, mm. And this is a great time to go make that purchase. What I say? I say even if it's fifty dollars, anything unexpected it is good. Okay, you go get your nails done, get them feet done. Cause you baby, them, I scrub my motherfucking feet every time I get in the damn tub, and baby. It's like the shit don't want to come off. You feel me? So anyway, go get them feet done. You're going to be able to treat yourself. Some of you, is, you're going to be able to buy a big, let's say a big purchase. So when I see shit like that, you know, a home, hello. Because this paying rich shit is ridiculous. I don't know where y'all live, but where I live, and it's like, I don't even see why, for real. But anyway, I'm not complaining, spirit, I'm not complaining. At least I got a roof over my head. Big purchase. Homes. Some of you could buy some, some land. Maybe you could buy you a nice automobile. Whatever it is now. Next card. Stability. So your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Okay? Especially if this is something that... Say something's supposed to come to you every month or however, however often. And once they find out they got the right address, it, you know, that's the ability. You're going to get it every month or however often, right? Then you got this network. Well, I don't know why this car keep coming out, but here it is. All right, so you, your career may be in law, such as police, military, courts, or criminal justice. Now, I did say the King of Swords is an authority figure, okay? So, but I, don't, I mean, maybe y'all are getting a job here. In law, police, military, courts, criminal justice, some kind of way. Somebody might, oh, hey, you wanna come work with me? Hell no, nah. I don't know what y'all gonna say. But, um, or a career in marketing, Promoting sales or any professional networking job. Cause for some of y'all, it's a job. For others of you, it's a letter. And for some, it's money. Spirit says, say yes to the things you think you can't do. Because this might be out your comfort zone. Fear. Overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow your fear to make you forget your greatness. Remain positive and on track. It may require you to step outside your comfort zone. Uh -huh. To achieve the abundance that you desire. Maybe this, this windfall, maybe that's the type of money that you desire. But maybe what you're doing currently ain't going to get you there. Type of shit. For some of y'all, this could be like a... Now, okay, let's go back. Remember I said I was picking up 19 or 20. But it's either going to be men... That's getting into an all-women job, or it's going to be women getting into an, an all-male job. It's something like that going on. And so this could be at the orientation. Everybody shaking hands. Damn it, give me the call. Oh, hell. Everybody shaking hands. Hey, Peter, nice to meet you. How you doing today? You know, whatever. Let's keep going. Because some of y'all settling. I can't even make it up. Don't settle for a dead-end job where you don't see any opportunity for growth. Your money might be stable, but are you making enough to keep you happy? 
Some of y'all about to get offered a job. Perhaps it's time to ask yourself, are you getting paid what you worth? Maybe you are worth with student in the reverse. Maybe you already know, maybe there's a skill that you have that they wouldn't have to teach you. Maybe you already know it. Hell, maybe people could learn from you. I don't know. Students in the reverse. So you could be making $10 an hour at your job, but maybe you're worth a whole lot. Maybe you're worth $50 an hour. I'm just talking, y'all. Take how it resonates, though. Um, and so that's why it's very important to know know yourself, know you, know who you are, know your worth, know what you got going on. Okay. So with this settling, you really could be settling. But you got this celebrate card right here, cause some of y'all might take this. I mean, where it's unexpected, unexpected income, like um, like a bank writes you and they tell you, oh, this check was never cashed or it got lost or something like that. Then that's a sell. That's a celebratory moment, right? Oh shit, girl, let's go get our feet done. We got an extra hundred dollars, right? But then for some of you, you make it out for the job through the justice system. For whatever the fuck it is that you that you already know how to do with student in the reverse. I feel I feel like that's why it's in the reverse, because y'all already know how to do it. I don't know. Uh, but it says you've accomplished so much and you will accomplish much more. Take some time off, celebrate your success. You deserve it. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. Okay, now, here's another thing. Try to be a little bit more flexible and allow the universe to work its magic. Don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form that you wanted it to. Sometimes blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded and see the potential. Some of you could be an artist. Now, this person could be the artist. Because if you look, and I was kind of picking this up for Virgo a while back. But what I was getting for Virgo, I said, they're going to be partnering up 22 soon to on the phone. They're going to be partnering up with someone in spirituality, okay, to do this job. This person's an artist. This person's an artist. You see them right there drawing. Whatever the hell they drawing. Maybe they are. So if I if, if I'm analyzing this car, maybe this person gets visions. So they'll see something in their mind, just like it looks right here. And then they draw it out. It's like a sketch artist or something. You know, I don't know how it's gonna resonate. But yeah, with this artist creativity. It also says the artist can be a photographer, a painter, film, graphic artist, or web design. If you if you can't make a living with your art full time, start part time. Just get started. All right. It also says focus on finding the beauty in your day to day life. All right. You have rescue here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties that you're experiencing. Consider career and see. Now, listen, this is going back to that rescue associations that I've been picking up on. But let me read the card. Consider careers as a firefighter, paramedic, or any rescue or heroic profession. Also, asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's quite the opposite. It shows your strength. And then you got... The Ace of Swords, but yes. So, something, something going on, okay? Ooh. And it seems like a little You better be careful what you say to me. Okay, anyway. Legal. Some of you may receive money from some type of legal matter that could be this sudden well. Um shit, maybe you found out that your boss was taking two hours every check. But maybe they've been doing this shit for as long as you've been working there. Say you've been there 10 years. That's a large little lump sum of money, man. Especially if you work for it. It pulled me yours. Okay, so some of y'all could get money from a legal matter. 
But then for others of you with this gift card, it says someone may give you a gift. So it could be this King of Pentacles giving you something, right? But remember, it changed hands five times. Something changed. Five. Maybe this person changed their mind. I don't know. Something changed five times before it got to you. But when it gets to you, it's going to be perfect. I offer you can't refuse type shit. Um, someone might give you a gift, lend you money, or help you out in some kind of way. You could get a cash bonus at work. Okay? You also have natural talents, gifts, and abilities just waiting to be discovered. Explore them. So that's kind of taking me back to this man who's sitting here. You know, maybe he gets visions and then uh, he draws them out or something like that. Okay? This is a good thing, I feel. But it may not come how you wanted it to come. You know? And, and kind of what I'm picking up with that is maybe something traumatic. You know what it's giving? You know the Amber Alert? Amber's mother lost a child. But because of that, they now have an Amber Alert system. So other mothers don't have to experience that. So something beautiful came out of it. Even though it was fucked up. Okay? That is kind of what I'm picking up here. 